And the second discipline is community. Now, community is what is essential for us to listen to the voice of God. We have to listen together. But you can only create community when you feel that you are truly the beloved. When you truly feel that you are loved, then you can start forming community. Let me tell you what most communities look like, whether it's marriage or friendship or uh, small little communities. It's like this. I'm lonely. I'm empty. I, I, I need someone to love me. I'm screaming for affection. And oh, there is someone else who also is lonely, who is also asking for affection. And maybe we should get together. And maybe we should connect. And maybe we should live together. And maybe we should be all for each other. And then suddenly you get locked into each other out of loneliness. And after a while you said, but uh, I'm still lonely. And you're not the one I hoped you to be. Because some things you don't understand. Maybe we should take a little distance. Maybe if you try again. Maybe a little distance and try again. That's what we call friction. And a lot of our relationships, when they are born out of our immense need for the solution of our inner anguish, become very possessive. And then while our love becomes violent, our kissing becomes biting, our hearing becomes overhearing, our looking tenderly becomes looking suspiciously. And before we know it, what we wanted to be an expression of love becomes an expression of violence and possessiveness. But when you truly believe that you are in communion, when you truly believe that there is a voice that calls you the beloved, you're not that, you're there. Alone, but not lonely. And there's another person there, alone, but not lonely. And two people can come together, each knowing about the voice of love, and forming home together. And the love that has spoken in me allows me to recognize the voice that has spoken in you. And we can love each other. And we can be very, very, very close. But we can also have some open space at times. And leave each other some room. And create a place where new life can be born where new friendship can grow, where guests can be welcomed, where the child can be born. That is community. That is the discipline of community, that the voice of love that we have heard can be heard sounding in the other and calls us together to build home to build family, to build community, to build a place of love. And I don't want to romanticize that for you. I tell you, it's not, I live in a community. There's 120 people. It's not easy. Someone once said to me, community is the place where the person you least want to live with always lives. <laughs> and that's true. Jesus. Jesus called the, called the community of apostles together and then suddenly there is this, and one will betray him. Community is not a romanticism. But you can only live in community 
If in a deep way your heart is rooted in God, and then you can live even with people who are hard on you. And they might become people who purify your heart and deepen your love.